If you're looking for a way to level up your award search skills fast, this video is for you. Also, if you're listening to this on the podcast, I'm going to do my best to describe what's going on on the screen. We do also have these tutorials complete with video on the GeoBreeze Travel YouTube channel and on Spotify video exclusives as well. Let's jump right in. Tip number one, always start by searching on an airline website that lets you search with a flexible calendar view. For example, I love using United when we are searching for Star Alliance partners or American Airlines when we are searching for One World partners. So for example, with United, if you wanna search for a flight from Las Vegas over to Chicago, click on One Way, book with Miles flexible dates, choose the entire month you want, and then go ahead and click on Find Flights. This will show you the entire calendar view of when flights tend to be cheaper with points. So by being able to look at the entire calendar at once, if you have flexible dates on when you can travel, it's an easy way to see which dates are going to be cheaper. If you wanna do the same thing with American Airlines, you would just go from Miami to JFK, for example, one way, make sure you click redeem with miles. There's not an easy checkbox with American Airlines for show me all the flexible dates. So here's what you'll wanna do instead. Click on approximately when you would wanna take the trip, go ahead and click search. And then from here, you would wanna click on this calendar button. And so here you can see from Miami to JFK, if you wanted to do this trip sometime in June, sometimes it's gonna cost as low as 6,000 points per person each way if you wanted to fly on either the 1st or the 18th. Sometimes it's gonna cost 7.5 thousand, sometimes it could cost 12 or 13 thousand. The cheapest days are always gonna be highlighted in green, and even if you wanted to filter on business or first class, it'll highlight in green as well on the cheapest days where you could fly business or first, which for this example would be 17.5 thousand points on either June 18 or June 26. So by using this calendar view, it's just an easier way to find all of the different days where you can find slightly cheaper flight deals versus a day with a regular price. Here's another example where it might not be as easy to figure out how to get the calendar view. With Air France, what you wanna do is go to Book With Miles, click on One Way, and let's say that we wanted to fly from Minneapolis over to Paris. What you wanna do here is just leave the departure date blank. If you type in any particular day, it's only gonna show you that particular day versus if you leave the departure date blank, you can search a whole month at a time. Let's say that we just need one ticket in business class for now. Go ahead and click on search flights. And so here we can see that by leaving the departure date blank, it'll show us the full calendar view of Air France availability and what dates are going to have cheaper availability. So for this month in November, there is only one date that has a quote, cheapest price. It's still 192,000 miles, which is quite a bit. But if you wanted to do December instead, there is one date that has 50,000 miles. If you wanted to do February, there's a couple dates where you can fly from Minneapolis to Paris for 50,000 miles. And then by looking at the calendar view like this as well, you can see that this route is only operated on Fridays. Whereas if you are searching one day at a time, it might take you a while to kind of figure that out where you're searching on the 12th, the 13th, the 14th, and it's just gonna say that there is no flight availability, there's no award availability. But by searching through like this and leaving the departure date blank, you can easily scroll through the entire year at a time. And it looks like for next year, they do open up more days and it's not just available on Fridays. If you're new to points and miles and you're feeling kind of lost with what you just saw right there, don't worry. We offer a free points and miles 101 course for you to help you earn and redeem points for your first redemption. The course covers everything that you need to know in order to get points and get your first flight or hotel stay covered. Grab the free course at geobreezetravel.com slash free course or check out the link in the description box. Our next tutorial shows you how you can alter some different URLs to show even more award space with Virgin Atlantic. Tip number three, with Virgin Atlantic, you can sometimes change up the URLs to show you more award space. So for example, they have this handy reward seat checker. If you wanted to fly with, let's say Delta Airlines, it seems to only show you flights from the London area or Edinburgh, but you can actually just choose any particular airport that you want, plus the month that you wanna travel. Go ahead and click on check for reward seats. And then up here in the URL, you can just change your origin and destination airports. So let's say you actually want to find a flight between JFK and LAX. And this will show you which dates you might be able to find flights between 
JFK and LAX on Delta by booking through Virgin Atlantic. So in June, availability is pretty sparse. You just have something on June 1st, June 5th, June 8th, but with a click of a button, we can easily check other months as well where there might be a little bit more availability in May. Let's say that we are okay with doing something like May 10 or May 11. We'd click on book my reward flight, which will take us to virginatlantic.com. It's going to pre-populate the route that we searched for. So let's say we just needed one way and we want to do May 10 where it said that there was some availability. Always show flexible dates. And then you also want to make sure that you're clicking on points, economy, and then go ahead and click go. You'll be able to change up the URL here as well to see more availability. So instead of just seeing one week at a time, we can go up here and change flexible dates to say flexible calendar. And from here, we can see the entire month of May with a little bit of April, a little bit of June, and we can see what dates there is availability to book this Delta flight by using Virgin Atlantic instead. Tip number four, if you're not sure what airport hub you should go to position to for a longer international flight, there are two fantastic free resources for this. The first one is flightconnections.com, where you would just type in your home airport. So let's say that you're in Little Rock, Arkansas, and there are no direct flights to find good flight deals abroad. What you could do is search for Little Rock, Arkansas, and from here, you could look for flights from Chicago, you could look for Houston, or you could maybe look through Miami. This is gonna be at LaGuardia, so there won't be as many flights from there, but you could position to LaGuardia, then fly out of JFK. You could fly into DCA, then do an international trip out of IAD Washington. So if you're having trouble figuring out where you can position to, Flight Connections is fantastic because this will also show you that Little Rock doesn't have as much going for it on the West Coast. So if you found a good flight deal out of Los Angeles, still might not be the best flight deal since Little Rock does not have a direct flight to Los Angeles. So you'd still have to connect through Phoenix or Las Vegas or somewhere else. You can also do this for airports that you are flying into. So let's say, for example, you wanted to fly into Santorini. There are no direct flights from the US into Santorini, but this will show you that you could either go into Athens, which most people do, or you could also just position into France, Germany, England, Spain, or somewhere else, and then connect to Santorini from there. So that's the first resource. If you're not so much of a visual person and you would rather see everything typed out, the second resource would be the Wikipedia page for your airport that you're searching for. Every airport has one. You just need to search for Wikipedia, whatever airport you're using, and then airport. So for example, with Little Rock, we would just go to the Wikipedia page. And then if you scroll down, it's gonna show you all of the different airlines that service that airport, plus all of the different destinations that you can go to from that particular airport with these airlines. So this is an easy way to see in table form all of the different places that you could travel as well. Are you enjoying these types of videos? If yes, please let me know. Click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel for even more points and miles tips every week. Also, let me know in the comments if you have any favorite tips for finding a ward space that you would like to add. These tips aren't just limited to finding great flight deals. Up next are a couple of ways that you can quickly find the cheapest hotel dates if you're looking to book with points. Tip number five, here's an easy way to find all of the availability with Hyatt hotels. So let's say that you wanted to stay at the Park Hyatt Paris Vendome at the end of July, right around when the Olympics are gonna be there, so you're gonna be a bit hard pressed to use points, but let's see what we got. So if we're looking for the Park Hyatt Paris at the end of July, it's gonna say that most of these hotels are not available for use with points since it's right around when the Olympics are there. Even if we click on this particular hotel and say that, oh, we don't need to use points, let's just see what the cash rates are, still not really available. What you could do is change these dates around until you find somewhere where there is availability and then click on view rates from here. And Hyatt does have this points calendar where it'll show you the points price for each given night. Some nights are going to be peak, some nights are gonna be off peak, some are gonna have the standard rate of 40,000 versus 45,000 points. But this doesn't actually show you which dates are available. So the tool that I like to use for this is Aways by Odin, A-W-A-Y-Z. And all you need to do is search for the hotel that you want and then the particular dates that you would like to check in and check out. 
And when you click search, it's going to say there's not anything available for the selected dates, just like we saw on the Hyatt website. But if you click on the actual hotel on the map, and then click on this green button, and then click on award availability, it will show you what dates have award availability versus which ones are sold out. So for this particular date at the end of July or beginning of August, we are completely sold out already for both points and cash rates. There are some dates like the 12th where you could pay the cash rate, but there is not the points rate available. And for all the other dates, it will show what the going points rate or cash rate is if they are both available. So this is just an easy way to see the entire calendar at one time and to see when there is points availability versus when there is only cash availability versus when the hotel is completely sold out. It is worth noting that a Waze is a paid tool, but there is a way to access it for free. And that brings us to tip number six, which is the free built app. So with the free built app, you can get this through the app store, the play store, wherever you download apps. You can actually use the free built app and access a Waze through there. It only works with current built transfer partners. So at the time of this recording, Hyatt and IHG, but most people are gonna be using a Waze for Hyatt anyway. So this article on builtrewards.com will give you exact directions for how exactly to use the built app in order to find hotel availability with Hyatt or IHG on a Waze. You can use this for the flight side as well. So in addition to Built partnering with Aways for the hotel side, Built partners with PointMe on the flight side. PointMe is a popular paid search engine where it'll show you, here's the best way to fly from airport A to airport B using points, but you can access it for free through the free Built app. Again, it only works for the airlines where Built is a transfer partner, but that covers most of the good ones like Virgin Atlantic, American Airlines, Air France, British Airways, Air Canada. You can search for all of those through the Built app. It's powered by PointMe. So that's a way that you can find even more award space for free just by downloading the app. If you're in the market for a new card to earn more points, but not sure what card to get, we offer free credit card consultations at geobreezetravel.com slash consultations. We'll send you personalized recommendations based on your particular goals, budget, and lifestyle. Here's tip number seven. There are tons of resources out there where you can get personalized help with your award search tutorials. I offer a free personalized tutorial each week through the free GeoBreeze Travel newsletter. And you can submit your tutorial requests at geobreezetravel.com slash AMA, along with any other questions that you have about earning points, redeeming points, credit cards, or anything else. And if your question is, what card should I get next? We offer a free credit card consultation service at geobreezetravel.com slash consultations. We'll send you personalized recommendations based on your particular goals, budget, and lifestyle. Or if you already know which card you want next and you'd like to support this show when you apply for your next card, we have all of our affiliate links listed on geobreezetravel.com slash cards, which you can also find in the description box. Tip number eight is one of my favorite search tools, which you have heard me talk about on this channel many times, and that is seats.arrow, where you can just click on explore and then pick the airline of your choice. Let's say that you wanted to use Alaska Miles, and then you wanted to go from North America over to South America. You can find all of the different flight deals within the next 60 days for free, but I personally find it to be very much worth the $10 to just find a full year of availability. And from here, you can sort on business first, and let's say that you wanted to go to Brazil, here are all of the different airports that you can position to and when you can take the flight to fly from, let's say, Boston or Orlando, Los Angeles for only 45,000 points per person each way in business class by using Alaska Airlines. They currently work with a variety of different partners like Aeromexico, Air Canada for the time being, Air France, American Airlines, Delta, Emirates, Etihad, Qantas, SAS Eurobonus, United Mileage Plus, and Virgin Atlantic and Virgin Australia. You could also use seats.arrow to search for entire regions at a time. So if you don't want to search by airline, but you'd rather search by region, you can click on this search button and then just say you want to go either from the USA or you can even say East Coast USA, West Coast USA, or if you have a particular airport you want to search from, you can put any of that search criteria in your origin airports. You could search for Asia, large airports, Southeast Asia, 
large airports, you could search for India. So even if you don't know the exact airport codes that you want, but you're like, anything in India is fine, you can search for anything like that. You can put in your departure date, you can say, I don't have any flexibility or I have a flexibility of a week, a couple weeks, a month, minimum available seats for the pro filters, and then go ahead and click search. And you can search for a business class pretty easily that way as well, or economy or premium economy. You can find what exactly the airports are that you would need to position to or fly into. Let's say that you are pretty picky and you're like, I only want to do stuff from JFK. Here are all of the different flights that you could do to JFK, or if you just needed to fly into Narita, Japan, you can use the search function to filter that way as well. So Seats.Arrow is probably one of my favorite award search tools and it makes it so much easier to just find all of the available flights for a given set of search criteria. If you're looking for even more next level ways to make the most out of your points, tips nine and 10 are probably the two fastest ways to help you find more award space for the flights and hotels that you want. Tip nine is the GeoBreeze Travel Patreon, which you can access through patreon.com slash GeoBreeze Travel. Through the Patreon, we can prepare personalized step-by-step -step tutorials for you based on the exact routes that you wanna see. We also host a live group coaching session every month. You can ask any questions that you have about points, travel, or anything else in the open forum. And for just $10, you can also get access to all of the recordings from all of our past sessions and masterclasses dating back to 2021. We cover topics like how to earn more points with buying groups and reselling, how to stack different shopping offers to earn more points with every purchase, deep dives into more tips and tools for finding award space, and so much more. And finally, Tip 10 is for business owners or individuals who spend more than $100,000 a year on expenses. If you're looking for the fastest solution of all to find award space and maximize your points, investing in some personalized help will be the fastest way to go. We typically save our clients $30,000 to $60,000 in travel in the first six to 12 months of working with our one-on-one -on -one points portfolio management service. If that sounds like something that you would be interested in, book a free intro chat with us at geobreezetravel.com slash intro call to learn more. I hope you found those tips useful. Suggestions for future topics are always welcome. In the meantime, if you enjoyed these tutorials, I think you'll enjoy this video next.